everybody! Hi. Welcome to day four of VBS Crafts. Today we're going to be doing some origami. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that, but Jean Margaret is modeling our um, origami bracelets. So we're going to make them in black, red, green, yellow, and, and blue. blue. Um, and like we talked about on day two, um, all those colors represent the different continents that compete in the Olympics. Um, so origami usually refers to the art of folding paper. But it also started um, with people folding cloth back before they really had access to a lot of paper. Uh, many studies show that the art of origami actually began in Japan over a thousand years ago. And I thought that was really fascinating too since the Olympics are in Japan this year. Um, so this is the fun craft that you can actually wear, but you get to make it. You can make one in each color and let the bracelets remind you of the strength of God's love for you. So if you have origami paper, that's great. You're already a step ahead, a few steps ahead. Um, if you don't have origami paper, what I need you to do is get one sheet of just like white computer paper and then one sheet of blue, yellow, red, green, and or black if you want to make a black bracelet. Um, so what we're going to do is, Jeannie will be making a yellow bracelet. I'm going to make a blue one. Get your white paper and your blue paper on top of each other so that they're lined up in the top left corner. So you're going to have some extra color probably showing. And what you're going to do is take a little tape measure or a ruler. So real origami paper is six inches by six inches. So I'm going to use a little pen to mark six inches down and six inches wide on my paper. So parents, we're basically, we're just cutting a um, six by six sheet of paper. So Jeannie, what you can do is you can like trace the line for six inches tall and trace a line for six inches wide. So I see how long did that? Be. Okay, so let's turn it this way. So six inches out, can you make, draw a line? Um, so let's see, we'll go like that, draw a little line right there. And then we know to start there and then draw a line all the way to the six. Yeah. You can cut it up to all the way across. Okay, and then we're going to do a line to that and just go all the way up on the inside. Let's do it on the inside. There you go. Go all the way up. There you go. So can you hold yours up, Jeannie, you too? Okay. So do you see how we've done a six inch line? down and then a six inch line across and what you're going to do is keep your papers lined up in that top left corner so that way you only have to measure once so you're going to cut both sheets of paper at the same time so parents what you're looking to have is a six inch by six inch white sheet and a six inch by six inch blue sheet or whatever color you're doing and you're going to tape or glue these together white and yellow cut out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to glue those together. So just to remind you, this is what we're making, a little origami bracelet. Um, so these are the colors me and my mom are doing, yellow and blue, but you can do any other um, color of the Olympics. We, My mom also did black green and red, you can do other colors of the Olympics. Too. Okay. So I've glued our two sheets of paper together. So one side has the color and the other side is white. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're going to have to follow closely. Okay, Jeannie, see if you can watch me. So turn your paper so it's like a diamond. Okay, you're going to fold it almost exactly in half of the diamond. So see how that would be all the way in half? You're going to have the bottom part showing, so you don't pull it all the way down to the bottom. There you go. So can you hold yours up? Okay. About halfway, like a bandana. Yep, it should look like a little bandana. That's right. Now you're going to fold a little tiny line down. Like backwards. Backwards. So Emma's, can you see how that's now like a little tiny fold? So there's my bandana. And then I just took a little line and folded it down like that. Behind. 
Then you keep going that same direction, fold another line. And do it really tight because this paper is pretty thick. Origami paper is really thin, so it's actually a little easier to fold. Then you just keep going back. And then you keep going back again until you've covered all the way down your bracelet. So oh, then um, to keep that little tip, see how the little tip of the triangle pops up? You can just put a little bit of glue on the tip of that triangle. And then it'll step down like that. And then you just go like that. Yep, let me glue your shut. And, and then with this you just Turn it this way and then you yep, and then we're gonna first. staple it shut. Or if you have some tape, you can tape it shut. But we use hot glue. Okay. So now it could be kind of hard to twist. Like I said, origami paper is a little thin. So if you want to save this um, idea on how to fold it and go get some origami paper, that could be a great craft to do once you have some actual paper. And so you just together yeah. like this. My bracelet isn't very well. So here's Jeannie's yellow bracelet. And then this is my mom's. Not very big, but small. <laughs> well, you want to try to pull the ends barely touching. You can staple them right there. And then look, that's how you make them. And these both look the same, except this one's a little wrinkly. Probably because of my thing. And this is how you make the origami bracelet. It might be easier to wrap some tape around the edges to get it to hold. I actually don't have any tape out here with me right now. But we have hot glue and staple. There we go. So there's our little bracelets. Do you want to hold them up again? Sure. And again, you can do these in red, black, green. blue, green, yellow. So and then you can wear them on your arm. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome Hi. to the last day of VBS. Um, our crafts today, is gonna, we're going to make our own Olympic medals. So I don't know if you can see my shiny medal. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the medals. I know that you've probably seen them, and you might know that they come in gold, silver, and bronze. But... These represent the top three winners of each Olympic event. Gold is for first, silver is second, and bronze is for third. But did you know that the gold medal is actually mostly made of silver? The gold medal is then plated with a little bit of pure gold. Today, we're going to make our own medals. And each year, I actually didn't know this, each year, the design on the medal changes. Um, our medals today are going to be a star to remind us, just like the torch of God's bright love for us. But um, it's kind of a neat thing if you and an adult can pull up uh, the different medals across the years because um, every, every country who hosts the Olympics gets to choose their own design of what's going to be on the medals. So today, what you need, we've actually been collecting lids for a little while. So like Van has a salsa jar lid. Abe has a pickle jar lid. And I have a tzatziki chicken. And Jeannie has a lid from awesome, a cucumber dip from Trader Joe's. Um, so just get any size lid. It doesn't matter what size. And then, um, parents, this might be something for you. If you have any of those foam stickers um, that are in the shape of a star, use those. If not, this is just cardboard. And I sent along a little star template in case you needed help um, getting that shape traced. But um, you can just cut out a size of a star out of cardboard, out of an old Amazon box, or something like that that you have handy. And um, what you're going to do is glue the star onto your lid. So On the back? Or the front? Jeannie, I'll give you that for yours. And then being an Ava, I can actually put a little bit of hot glue. Oh, wait, on the back? Um, no, sorry, on the top of the lid. Like on the top of the lid, glue whatever shape... Um, Sticker you want to use or your star, just like that. You need easy. Okay. And mine smells like salsa. So mine smells like cucumbers. Okay, can you see your star? Oh. All right, and then what you're going to do is take a little bit of tin foil. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> 
You don't need this much tin foil. I'm just telling you that you, you don't need one stuff. sheet per I just need two pieces. No, that's too much. Oh. Okay, so then you wrap your metal with the tin foil. So you want the star to be on top. So place your tin foil on top and then just wrap it around. Do you need to see how? Put it on top. And then tuck all the extra tin foil around the back like that, and you can just smush it in. Oh, the age is crushed. Oh, wait, <laughs> <laughs> it just crushed. Wait, hold on. Don't do what Abe did. <laughs> That's the wrong way. This, so you is need the, to, this is the right way. You need to put the tin foil on top of the lid. <laughs> but if you mess up, that's okay. He messed up here. Okay, and then what I want you to do is take your fingertips. Or you can take a little pen and just push down on the foil around the shape of your star. Do this gently because the tin foil can actually kind of rip. So just kind of, man, can you trace your fingers in the shape of the star? I did it. Yep, Jeannie, can you show that close up? Okay, this might be hard to see. Um, so the star is underneath. You just push with your fingernails around the star to complete it. That's right. Okay, so then Jeannie, since you have the glue, can you do um, glue all around the outside of the star? Okay, I'm like around here too? Yeah, I just have to do it gently. No, not, honey, not with the pen. With the, with around the, the star? Oh, well, well, just trace it like that. Around the star? Yep, do it in the shape of the star. Okay. Don't do that. And then what we're going to do is put some glitter on top of the glue so that you might want to have a sheet of paper um, underneath it so that it... The glitter doesn't make a huge mess. There you go. Sorry, this glitter is really hard. Okay. All right, so then you can take the can glitter and just gently tap it onto the paper. All right, now tilt it up, but make sure you, when you tilt it, you get it on the paper. So keep it on the paper like that. You just have to do it one direction like that. And then you can kind of turn it, and then maybe just pick up some extra pieces and get it on there. That's great. Um, Abe, you can go ahead and start putting glue on yours. Around the star. And so then what I want you to do is get some ribbon. It doesn't have to be red, white, and blue. I just happen to have this one. But um, you're going to make sure, uh, parents, you might want to measure to see it go. Uh, make sure it goes around your neck pretty long. So like Jeannie. I'll probably do it. Probably like goes like around. Sorry. Is so that close to me? Now, just shake a little bit of glitter on it, just a tiny bit. Okay, so then parents, you can just glue on the ribbon to the back of their little tinfoil star. Mm -hmm. And then shake it, and, um, and then grab a little, make sure it's on top of the paper. And then it puts up in there. Okay, and then we shake um, it, okay? And there you have it, your metal. It's pretty easy, not very difficult. And Betty, you put it on your oh, oh, it on there we go. Yeah, I'll finish it. But um, thank you all for tuning in this week, and we hope you have a great rest of BBS, and we hope you get a chance to go in person one day. Um, and thank you for tuning in. Abe, can you say bye? Bye. Can I say bye? Bye. bye.